a human error. So recent year, imaging spectroscopy and hyperspectral imaging has been regarded smart and promising analytical tool for analysis of the agriculture product quality. If you want to measure the agriculture quality, this is, there have some advantages like the non-destructive, repeat, no need chemical reagent and cost effective. So this is the uh, advantage, okay? You have an appell, if you have a production line, you can check easily, okay, how much sugar content there, how e there is the internal defects or not. Easily you can, you can measure. So using the non-destructive sensing. If it is bad, you can use the another part pass. But, uh, but traditionally, if you the human inspection, okay, this is not good, not bad. Then you cut uh, for internal quality. If you cut this one, then it is oyster. You cannot use further. So also for the, uh, if you want to export your fruits vegetables, you need to confirm some quality. So for quality is the important. And if you want to easy way, not destructive way, repeat way. So you have a lot of method, imaging, spectroscopy, hyperspectral imaging in recent. ER. So what is the relationship between the imaging and spectroscopy hyperspectral imaging? Here, I will talk about the imaging. What is the image? Image, like image, image is the principle of human vision. This is the appell you are seeing is appell using, using mainly RGB band to acquire the characteristics object. Okay, this is appell, you see the appell. So same principle we use in the camera. Okay, this is up and I mainly use the RGB camera. Then working visible range, we got the spatial information. Spatial information such as size, color, shapes, texture. From here, imaging, you got the spatial information. Mainly occasionally reported for detecting the chemical and biological parameter. You cannot detect the, here the SSC, sugar content, SADD. You cannot measure pH from this food using the imaging. But you can measure the, okay, size, shape, color. Okay, this is the mature or not mature. If the mature fruits, consider the banana. If it is mature, its color is changed. So you can, you can use imaging methods for maturing, like the external properties used. Mainly use maturity, purity, external defects, size grading for agriculture product imaging. This this camera imaging system use the spatial information like size, color, texture, but in spectroscopy is the optical technology that depends on the interaction between line, light and molecular emitters. Okay, every fruits or vegetable, this is the bio, bio molecule. They have some molecule like the glucose, sucrose or pH. This is contained the bond is the CH bond. So if you interact the incident light molecule, this is the spectroscopy technology depends on the interaction between incident light and molecule in matter. In the object a molecule, different molecule have a light with different wavelength in terms of light absorption. If the light, if it is apple, it have a different absorption, different sensitivity of light. So record the absorption information of this molecule over corresponding wavelength. Our corresponding wavelength, if you measure this absorption information, then you can make some model and you can say, okay, this is the uh, appell have a content, SSC content like this. And the mainly spectroscopy application is the chemical properties. If you want to find the chemical properties from agriculture product, like SSC, SCDT, moisture content, or internal defects. If you want to find out the internal defects, we use the spectroscopy method. Spectroscopy method. Usually spectroscopy method, only you use the spectral, spectral information, not the spatial information. This is the color, size, no you can get only the spectral information from spectroscopy. From imaging, you will get the spatial information. For spectroscopy, you will get the spectral information. But in hyperspectral imaging, what Hyperspectral imaging goes behind the conventional imaging and spectroscopy to acquire both the spectral and spatial information of the simulator screen. On instrument, you will get the both spectra and spatial information from object. If you want to 
like here the figure you can see on on product like have a some spatial dimension xo and the spectral dimension same instrument from same instrument you will get the spectral and spatial information from of the simultaneous plane so if you to measure internal quality or external quality chemical quality physical quality it is easy to use the hyperspectral imaging technique because from one instrument if you use the spectroscopy you will get only the chemical information if you want to use the imaging method you will get the size shape color information but if you go to hyperspectral imaging you will get both imaging information and spectral information this is another advantage hyperspectral imaging can generate the chemical map of so distribution of parameter of interest so you have uh, some fruits so some fruits is uh, some part is the sweet some part is not sweet so you can easily show the from the hyperspectral imaging the contribution the which part is the more sweet which part is not sweet you can easily generate the map the using the hyperspectral imaging technique application hyperspectral imaging you can apply the uh, for find out the chemical and physical properties of agriculture products like size shape maturity you want to measure the acidity tractable acidity ph ssc you can use the hyperspectral imaging technique however it has a lot of advantages so which advantages the main advantage is the record spectral volume that contains a complete spectrum of every single spot so if you use the spectroscopy you will get chemical information using the spectroscopy so if you use the spectroscopy you will get only spot information like the on spot information but if you use the hyperspectral imaging it record the whole volume the if you use the apel there you will get the whole apel spectra so if you get the whole apel spectra is good you know, rather than the spot because uh, uh, suppose you have apel on part is the sweet and on the part is not sweet so if you use the spectroscopy technique to measure the sweet con sweet content in the sugar content in the apple so spectroscopy only record the spot information like the detector the connect to the record detector place is record the uh, on spot information but spectra data in hyperspectral imaging it contain the whole whole volume another advantage is the flexibility in choosing any region of interest in the image after image acquisition you acquire the image at a certain image then you can you can find out okay this is the region of interest for me you okay you can choose region of interest for your experiment so depends on your objective you can take the whole image or you can select the uh, small image for your interest also able to determine the several quantitative symmetries in the same sample in the same sample you can measure the uh, moisture moisture content you measure you can measure the external quality also same same sample and same time allow the another important advantage is the hyperspectral imaging allow the visualization of different biochemical constituents presented in the same sample based on the spectral signature in the same sample you can show the visualization okay this is the more sweet this is the not more sweet this is only possible using the hyperspectral imaging system allow different object or detect distribution even similar color morphological feature if you use the similar color apple but the sugar content is different you can classify the more sugar and less sugar apple using the hyperspectral imaging however if there is a sub disadvantage the main disadvantage is the substantial amount of data you will get the lot of data including mass redundant information post consideration computation challenge this is on apple you will take the spectra you take the lot of data you will take the in need time takes a long time in acquisition analysis for this reason is very limited implemented in online system for automated quality evaluation purpose nowadays another is the indirect method is the indirect method not the direct method not the straight method not direct method indirect method so every year every time you need to standardize calibration and model transfer procedure and another disadvantage is the not suitable in the liquid and homogeneous sample if you have a liquid sample 
cytospectralin is not suitable in some cases in liquid sample and homogeneous samples. However, if you have a, some disadvantage, okay, it takes long time image acquisition analysis. So it is very difficult to online implementation. What we can do using hyperspectral imaging? We can do analyze the hyperspectral imaging data, then select few effective and suitable orbit for imaging system. Like you have an apple, you want to measure the sweet content. So you got the lot of information. So you need only few information which is related with the sweet content. From hyperspectral imaging data, you can analyze the, you can select the few effective and suitable OEBN, then you can make the imaging system and you can use the online system. So it is easy from the, uh, for unknown properties, you can easily find the uh, on imaging system and you can easily measure and fast, rapidly measure the quality. So, this is uh, now we discuss the advantages and disadvantages. Now, the fundamental of the hyperspectral imaging system. There were several fundamental things. I will only only put the some basic things. What is the hyperspectral imaging system? Like configuration. How to configure hyperspectral imaging? We know hyperspectral imaging the three-dimensional image, like all. Uh, spatial information, X is the spatial information, and Z is the oil blend. So how? This is the four method we can take the configure hyperspectral imaging. Like on is the point scan. This is the Wiggs boom method, like the scans a sample in a point form, like the figure one, figure A, we can see the from the sample, from the sample, we have a sample, only point scan. Point scan, point scan. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of time. So it is not suitable for the agriculture product to measure this one. Mainly use the wisdom point scan for the micro imaging system, for micro hyperspectral imaging. Suppose you have a rice, very small rice, and you have an apple. So if you want to see rice, the rice properties, then it is better to use the point scan. Micro imaging, point scan, the point point scan. And second is the, if you want to big, big product, like the push boom of line scan. Scan the sample in consecutive line. Sample is moving and is the, is take the image. Is scan the sample. The sample is moving here. If you want to like the online system, usually use the line scan system easy because sample is moving condition and you take the samples, you, you scan the sample, and it takes the very less time compared to point scan. Another is the area scan. Scan entire sample on wavelength at a time. Sample is the not moving. Sample is the same place. Camera is the take the, uh, scan the sample on a wavelength at a time. So this is 400 wavelength, then 415, 420. It's like this oil blend, but sample is the, uh, not moving. If you have a sample, you have a no space, if you don't want to move the sample using the conveyor belt, usually use the area scale. Nowadays, recently, the camera, hyperspectral camera is developed the single shoot. The entire sample information only take the one exposure. Sample is the not moving and camera is just scan the sample within on exposure. It is very sp speedy, S speedy system and recently developed. But however, it has a problem. Still, because it is developing single shoot, it has a narrow spatch, narrow, narrow spectral range. If you want to, okay, it's not the high spectral range. It is a very narrow. And spatial information is not the high resolution and the low resolution because the single shot. If you want to use the hyperspectral imaging in re near future, maybe the single shot is the easy to establish. Maybe the system will develop very soon, the high, high spectral band or high resolution image we will get. Then we have uh, some sensing mode. One is the reflectance. The Usually reflectance like the figure or A, you can see light, light and detector is the place above the sample and the same site. 
if you put the light then the, the uh, fruits the surface is the incident and the reflected the light and detect the catch the light reflected light this is the one system usually we use the for internal use the chemical quality of the sample external internal but some horticulture crop like if you have a nut if you have a nut nut is the surface is very hard or durian surface is very hard the light light incident light penetration is very low for each surface is hard like tomato it is easy tomato surface is very thin not the hard but if you go to hard surface like nut if you want to nut internal quality nut nut surface is the very hard so it is penetration is not too high if you want to measure the internal quality of nut so maybe it's difficult using the reflectance mode but if you, another mode is the transmission mode detector one light as position the opposite side of the sample light and sample is the opposite side okay sample sample it is very easy in this mode you will need to high sensitivity detector and high sensitivity light because you if you have the hard surface sample you put the light here if if transmitted through the sample then detector will catch so you need to high sensitivity detector and the high power light so it uh, transmission system mainly used for the uh, internal quality of fruits if you want to measure the internal okay this is you have a potato in the potato you have a some black heart inside the black heart if you want to do the measure black heart you can use the uh, transmission system transmission sensing mode another sensing mode is the interactance the detector and the light source position in the same side of the sample with part and source detector separation the detector and light source has a little separation and this system not suitable for the small sample you need to use the big samples big sample like the tomato like the potato like the apples but if you want to measure the cherry tomato cherry tomato is very small so this interactance is the not suitable so depends on your objective you can select the sensing mode which sensing mode is good for your data collection next what is the instrumentation hyperspectral imaging what are the component the main component is the camera and spectrograph camera and spectrograph then camera lens illumination we know it the conveyor belt if you use the line scan then you need to conveyor belt also you need the proper software computer this is the mainly used on hyperspectral imaging system like illumination you need depends on the your objective mainly use the halogen lamp for this okay then then we go to hypercube okay we take the image hyperspectral image so firstly we say hyperspectral image contain the three dimensional image like two two for the containing three dimensional dimension with two for spatial coordinate and other one spectral below spatial coordinate like the here the figure you can see the left side the 400 to 1000 nanometer image the 4000 400 to 1000 nanometer image every and the uh upper side is the left side in upper position you can see the hypercube this is the 400 image 450 image for 500 image this is the image the hypercube and from that image you can you can collect you can collect the wavelength one is the x and y is the uh, mainly mainly show the spectral the spatial dimension and the uh, uh, lambda shows the spectral dimension spectral dimension like some apple the 400 they have a high resolution but the, here you can see 500 is black relative the absorb more absorb but light is not uh, reflected but if you go to 800 is the reflected high this is the black and the 800 nanometer image is the white image this is the image is the you can say 
this spectral information and spatial information. This spectra, 800 spectra, 800 spectra, the image is the uh, X and Y. And this line shows the spectral dimension. Usually hypercube content, this is the main thing, hyper, hypercube content is the three dimension, two is the spatial coordinate and another is the spectral value. So general step of hyperspectral imaging processing, how to process the first on the image acquisition and pre-processing, how to image acquisition, then image need to calibrate, image segmented. If, if you need to image segmented from the background, you need to image segmented, then regionometer is which region you will take for analysis, depends on your objective. So mainly hyperspectral image, you acquisition, acquisition then calibrate to calibrate because you took the image that you must not calibrate. You need to calibrate using the dark, dark image and void balance image. Then you need to, okay, you took, you get the image. These images you need to segment it from background. Then region interest, which region you will use. If you use the region interest or specific void band image, like what is the image process, image selection at specific void band? Suppose you have a two image. One image is the 400, another is the 800. Like 800 uh, uh, show the, the light, uh, low light and the, the dark, dark, 400 is the very dark. So from there you can find some, if you, if you find out the external bruising, external bruising you can easily find from the Pacific band. So it, it depends on your objective, which one you want to do. So if you want to do the bruising, so you compare the band image, which image is the high resolute the uh, bruising. Another is the dimensional reduction, uh, structure extraction and spectra extraction. Finally, model calibration, model selection and visualization. Visualization is the chemical component. This is the main general step for hyperspectral imaging process. So if you go to the data analysis, the Tool on the sample image, you need to image correction. This is the use, usually use the image correction equation. Then the two part on the spectral analysis, image analysis, mainly depends on your objective. If you want to find out the external properties like the bruising, like you want to the, okay, uh, bruising, you want to the some disease, outside disease, external disease, so you will go to image analysis part. If you want to go to chemical analysis, like the sugar content, like the acidity, pH, then go to spectral analysis side. So this is the two, it depends on the your objective, but same thing, spectral, if you go to spectral analysis, spectral extraction, key processing, model calibration, model validation, simplified model. Here the image analysis, selected image, which image you will analyze it. Processing, feature extraction, calibrate model, validate model. Finally, model application and prediction map. So if you go to the, uh, uh, here I will go to on spectral analysis. Here the spectral analysis diagram. How do you analyze the spectrum? Like select, uh, firstly you can select the selection of wavelength of range. It depends on your objective. You can select the full range, partial range, selected range then you pre-process the spectral data. There have a lot of methods, smoothing method, scattering correction method, differentiation method. Then you will go the, okay, selection analysis of regression calibration model. You will make the model. The different model, you can make the different statistical analysis, MLR, PCR, PLSR, SDMR, NR, PLSDA, SYNC, KNN, LDA. The different regression and calibration model. It depends on you your objective. If you want to the sugar content, you will go to the um, uh, regression method. If you go to the, okay, classify, this is the internal quality, classify, this is bad and this is good. So you need to go to PLSD or SYNCA, the classification method. Then you will evaluate the model, how to evaluate some characteristics, R squared, score, uh, SEC, SECD, SEP, RPD, REE. If it is good, then the selection of final model. So there have a lot of spectral preprocessing methods. So why we do the main thing is that we need to do spectral preprocessing. Remove the physical phenomenon in the spectra. If you have a spectra, 
So you need to remove the physical phenomena to improve the robustness, equal accuracy of the subsequent quality of classification model, to improve the interpretability, raw data in a better understandable format, detect trends and remove outliers from the spectral data to reduce the dimensionality of the spectral data. So you spectra, some spectra, some spectra have some noise due to instrument, due to lighting system. You need to improve, you need to remove some, uh, some, uh, some interpretability, improve the interpretability, remove the outlier. There are a lot of method reprocessing techniques. One is the smoothing method, scatter correction method, spectral derivatives. There's a method I, I will not go to there. So only we know the preprocessing method, there are methods, smoothing method, scatter correction method, spectral derivative. You need to this, use this preprocessing technique. Which technique is the good, which technique is not good, depends on your data. If there have been no the thumb rule, they have been no rule. Okay, this this method is good for your data. This method is not good. You need to go trial and error method. Okay, uh, normalization, you got the good result. Moving average, you got the good result. You need to compare. You need to use all methods and find out the uh, find out which method is good. Then some classification model, which is the classification model, mainly two type classification model. One is supervised classification model, another is unsupervised classification model. Supervised, okay, I tell them, okay, this is the good, this is the bad. Based on this, they classify. And unsupervised, I, I didn't tell anything to them. They will classify them into some group, like this is. Here are some differentiated. I, I told them this is viable, this is not viable. Then this is classified. And the right side, this is, I didn't say anything. Based on the data, based on the data quality, they divided by two things. And usually we use that one. The mainly use the supervised algorithm, but if you use the unsupervised classification method, this is good for your research paper and other things. Mainly unsupervised classification method, sample are classified without period knowledge, no knowledge. It depends on only data. The, the PCA can use clustering. This is the one kind method. And supervised classification method are technique in period knowledge, the category membership of the sample is required. You tell them, you say them, okay, this is the good, this is the bad, then they will classify. In the some method they have a LDS, SIMCA, EAN, and PLSDA used for classification method. Another is the regression. If you want to do regression building relationship between the desert physical chemical object and spectrum response. In spectrum, you, okay, sugar content. Okay, you want to, okay, this happens sugar content, you want to prediction. You want to predict, so you need to go regression, uh, regression model. Uh, how much, regression model will say how much sugar content they are, and classification model will say this is good or not good and bad. This is the qualitative, this is the quantity. So divide into the two group, mainly linear regression or linear regression. This is the some method they have. Usually we use which method is better, which is not good. If you need to compare, compare result among the developed model and decide this is good and this is bad. So how to compare some, some value we consider to, oh, okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is good result. So this is the evolution method like RA, the coefficient of regression, coefficient of prediction, root mean square error of uh, calibration, score, cost validation, prediction. This is used usually for any regression analysis. So if value is the zero to one, near to one regression coefficient, so this is good. If it is uh, root mean square error near to zero, it is good. So low value is good, high value is good. Another some coefficient is this. If you use the this value is zero, near to zero is good. This is RPD, REV. Uh, higher than the zero is good. And the evaluation of model for classification usually use the confusion matrix. Uh, from confusion matrix, we measure the specificity, sensitivity, precision, and accuracy. How much accuracy, how much precision, how much sensitivity, how much specificity. If you, if you see any classification model, you need to the four, four parameter. If you got the four parameter, you can say, okay, this is good or this is bad. You can compare. Another, another thing is the, from hyperspectral imaging, the prediction map, how predict. 
So here the one figure you can see uh, the mango, some paper, they were the T, uh, the lower part is the TSS, the sugar cone, total soluble solid content. You can see day one, total soluble solid content is the high and day, eight, day one is the low, day eight the high. Total soluble solid content is the sweet content, the sweetness. So sweetness, if day eight, the sweetness is high. So if if you see, if you want to buy, you can easily make any grading system. Okay, this is the bad mango, it is a good mango. You can using, it is easily, okay. Another advantage, okay, this part of mango is the more sweet, this part of mango is not sweet. If some people want to buy, okay, a half part of mango, like in Japan, you can see $2,000, $20,000 on mango sometimes. Then you can divide, okay, this part for sweet, this part is not sweet. You can use from the prediction map. This is the main advantage from the hyperspectral imaging. So now I will talk, uh, up to here, I talk about the advantage, disadvantage, and fundamental of hyperspectral imaging. Now I will talk about the application of hyperspectral imaging. First application, internal quality of tomato. If you want to measure the internal quality of tomato, how I apply? You know, if this is the common thing. Tomato is the most common food in the, all over the world, sorting quality of tomato. Usually you use the size, color, maturity, and firmness. Internal quality, soluble solid content, like the FSC. Soluble solid content, this is the sweetness. PS moisture content, sometimes moisture content also important for quality tomato. Nowadays, people are used the dexter tape, considerable amount of or manual work provide information limited part of food. If you want to use the SSC, okay, you will press the tomato, take the juice, make the refractometer, say, okay, this person of bricks. This is your destructive method. You cannot use this tomato for further. So hyperspectral imaging, you can understand method suitable to use the method the sample easily. So in this study, I the objective for, for my objective prediction the moisture content, PS, soluble solid content, intake tomato using hyperspectral imaging system and establish the qualitative analysis model using PLS regression and create chemical image by applying regression coefficient resulting from the PLS model. From the, uh, first, I want to predict the moisture content, PS and SSC, then I want to make the chemical image for this. Okay, let's see. The materials I use the 55 tomato. Each tomato for my objective, I divided the two parts. So I got the each tomato two spectra. So I got the 110 spectra. This is the some physical parameter of tomato weight, major axis, minor axis, how big and how small tomato I use in my experiment. This is the system I use for hyperspectral imaging. I use the indirect lighting system due to, you see in tomato, if you put the light, tomato surfaces the reflect light. Sometimes it's reflected too much because uh, tomato surface is the shiny surface. Like if, if, if surface like is the mirror, so uh, mirror, so if you get the, if you put the light and if reflected more light. So this is not good, the direct lighting system for tomato. Here I use the in indirect lighting system to catch the image. This is a spectral range. I use 1000 to 1400 nanometer image. Exposure time is this. And this is the my own image. I divided the two part. One is the, this part. The, this is the reason of interest I use. The, lower part and higher part. On tomato, each tomato get the two spectra. This is the collected mean spectra from divided fold region because each pixel had a spectra. So whole area I will, I do average and I use the mean spectra for my next analysis. This is the dexterity method because you have a tomato, you need to know the uh, reference value to make the any calibration model. So this is the moisture content, how to measure the moisture content tomato using the method. And this is the pH and soluble solid content. This
I think uh, Dr. Rahman lost his uh, internet connection. He will be joining with just a reminder to all the participants, please be sure to type your questions in the chat box. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. On here. Yes, sir. Please continue, sir. Okay. So we know. Okay. So this is the some method, the direct method we use for the uh, to make the reference value for the measurement. We have the moisture content, the pH and soluble solid content measurement. The uh, this instrument you use for the soluble solid content pH and moisture content measurement. And this is the measurement below the pH like the ESC and SSC moisture content is this. So this value used to make the model. So what, is, uh, what I did in, the, in this study, this is the flow diagram for my study. Like the potato tomato sample, then I use the hyperspectral image in this correction. ROA selection, spectra data, actually spectra, then spectra treatment using the MSC. Then we got the some measured value, spectra matrix. Then they make the model. PLS calibration model is good. It's the go to the best model for selection. Then the best coefficient. Finally, you got the chemical image of moisture content pH and SSC. This is the flow diagram I follow. I use the software MATLAB and Anscambler version for analysis, this study. And this is the spectra of tomato, how to say, okay, this is the, what is the spectra? This is the wavelength is the 1000 to 1400, this is the relative reflectance. Relative reflectance. So here we can see some peak, some bellow, the, the bellow is the peak, that strong decline, the 1700 and 1130 km which is associated the OH and CS band and second overtone band of CS. This is the spectroscopy, like the, uh, some molecules have uh, some absorption, some band. So here we can get the OS band. OS band, the, some water band, CS band. This is the, you can get the, this peak overtone the, from here. Using this data, uh, I said I got the PLS regression. This is the model, the PLS regression result. Here the uh, left side, the, here's the moisture content, then the pH, then the sugar content. The, uh, uh, this is the root, uh, this is the R is the 0 0.847, 0 0.641, 0.82. And, and the analysis the confident with P test, the no significant difference between the measure and predictable of intactometer. The value is this. If you the pH, if you can say pH, pH the uh, root mean square is the this is the too high and the coefficient is not too high because 
uh, when we measure the pH of tomato, the range is too low, like on 3.9 to 3.92. This is the point zero to only difference within the tomato. So the pH in the tomato is not very, the seed not significant good tomato. They, this. So the pH is not good result here. If you go to the chemical image, the main advantage of the hyperspectral imaging. So I have a tomato. So then I go to the uh, some um, hypercube. From this, we took the only 122 nanometer image. Because this image have a high resolution, high contrast. So I took the 1082 nanometer image. That image to binary image, the resulted image I got the after segmented, the only tomato. You, with this image, image is the two dimensional, one is the X and Y. And I multiply with beta coefficient of the best prediction model. After multiply, I got this, ben, this, this one, and this is called the, okay, this is the chemical image. So I can say, okay, this tomato, the lower tomato is the high moisture content, upper tomato is the low moisture content. If you want to store this tomato is long time, so lower tomato is not good. The upper tomato is good for the storage. This is the moisture content and this is the pH for tomato. This is the chemical image. From chemical image, you can take deviation. So finally, I can conclude this on the, okay, the spectral length 1000 to 1400 nanometer, I can predict moisture content, pH, sugar content of intake tomato. And most accurate prediction, I got this one. And pixel-wise chemical map, useful for interpreting the distribution moisture content, pH and SSC in intake tomato. If you see the, from chemical image, you can see, okay, this part is to high moisture content, this part is low moisture content. So we can say, if you want to the high speed hyperspectral imaging and BS preprocessing method and PS regression, you can, you can grading the tomato, you can measure the moisture content PS and soluble solid content of tomato easily, non-destructively. Next application, I want to show the allicin and soluble solid content of garlic. In, you have a garlic, it says a allicin, allicin mainly responsible compound for the characteristics of water and flavor of fresh garlic. The garlic is the more, its order and flavor mainly depends on the allicin. The low soluble solid content will produce the bitter garlic, while high SSC will result in tasteless garlic. So if you want to the, okay, uh, we, if you want to the garlic getting system, so you, need, you can use this one. Okay, allicin and low soluble solid content. Soluble solid content, allicin, the main component, main chemical component for the quality of the garlic. So some decorative method now use is the property information limited part of food. You need to on garlic, then squeeze, then the SSC and galaxy. This is a decorative method. Use the hyperspectral most suitable format of the sample. Here mainly we use the allicin and hyperspectral imaging method, uh, measure the allicin and soluble solid content prediction model. Then we use one method, the, some feature extraction method. We select the selected white band, which is very much related with the allicin and soluble solid content. From this BAP method, the very variable important since projection technique, we select the select the important variable, which variable is only for responsible allicin, only responsible sugar content, we selected from this, this method. Then we make the chemical image for visualization the tested parameter of garlic image, garlic based on the feature wavelength, the selected wavelength. We use the 85 garlic club, garlic club, we use the, this is process of the local market in South Korea, I did this, experiment in South Korea. Usually South Korean people eat a lot of meat. Every meat part, they eat one garlic club for maybe one garlic crops. They want to measure garlic quality. So this is the, we, I use the 85 garlic club and the white is the this. I use the PBS system, but here the range is the two, 1000 to 200, 500 nanometer. This, I use, I measure the LSC measurement, use the SPLC method, 
and record the individual sample after the image acquisition. Then soluble solid content is garlic. I make a paste, then filter the make a juice, then measure using the diffractometer. I got the soluble solid content. If the low soluble solid content, this is the good, and this is the high soluble solid content. This is the bitter, bitter garlic. So this is the measurement content, maximum, minimum, and mean value of the so allicin and sugar content. This is the math uh, flow diagram I used to analysis. Like first garlic sample, hyperspectral image, then corrected image, ROI selections, ROI selection, corrected, then ROI selection only this sample, then spectra data, spectra treatment, spectra matrix. The best model, I use the PLS model, PLS model, best model, I selected uh, these, these, these characteristics I use for the best model selection. After selection the best model, I use the one method, BIP method, variable importing method for selecting Fisher wavelength. Using the Fisher wavelength, I make the chemical image. This is the method I follow for analysis. This is the software I use MATLAB 2016 MATLAB version. This is the Gali Spectra. Usually, if you want to LSN and sugar content, very much related with the CS bond and OS bond. So you need to find out the who is which which region is the peak. But here peak is the very broad, the 1000 to 1200 to 1100 to 1000. 100, 3, 1, 1,350 to 1,400. It's a very broad region. But this region you can use to measure the, uh, to make the model, but you cannot say, okay, only this oil band responsible for real estate. This oil band not responsible for moisture content. So further, we need to start the, how to get the uh, selective oil band, Fisher oil band. So here the reference value of allicin and sugar content, like the allicin and sugar content maximum value and minimum value, then the prediction models. Here, PLS regression, I use the prediction, the allicin, this is the right side, the allicin, right side, the sugar content. So you can see this uh, regression coefficient is the 0.96 and prediction is the 0.93, this is the good. The 0.93 and 0.89, the regression coefficient is good here. So we can say, this is the good and the no significant difference between measured and predicted election. How about in this, in this here, I use the 121 wave band, the whole wave band, but to use the one line system, you need to some selected wave band, the important feature, important wave band, wave length, which is related to election, which is related to the sugar content. So further I study, okay, this is the good result. So I want to select only the uh, wavelength, wavelength related to allicin. So I did the BIP, BIP, the variable importance projection, some, some analysis, have the allicin, BIP score. You can see some BIP score. The BIP score, the allicin and SSC. This is the allicin and SSC. So if you go to the, uh, this is the 1000 to 1070, 1000 to 1070 nanometer we use and the BAP score we can see. So we select not all BAP. So from here we can select the effective wavelength. Here we use the BAP score threshold for allicin 1.1. If BAP score 1.1 greater than 1.1, this is the important variable, important wavelength. And this is the 1.3, this is the important variable for sugar content. This is also how to decide the BIP score value, threshold value. It depends on the trial and error, who is one that give the good result. Then this is the, you can see, you can see the original things. How? Reduce the variable. Here are the 1000, 1050, the whole wavelength. If you use the BIP model, you can reduce for allicin 121 to 33. And for SSC prediction, you can reduce 24, only 24 wide band. This wide band, 1050 to 1011, and this wide band. If you use this lighting system, 
this wavelength lighting system and make the system for hyperspectral system, you can reduce the uh, image acquisition time, you can reduce the analysis time, and you can get the result for SSC. This VAP method use the selection, the uh, important wavebands, which wavebands for related to LSE, which wavebands related to SSC. This is the PLS VAP model. Okay, I select this wavebands, I select this wavebands. How, how good this result? This result is good or this result is not good? This is oil predicted, not oil predicted. This is the, I show the performance of PLS model for LSN. The result is lower than the model developed with all variable. If you use the 120 variable, this is the good result. But if you use the BIP model, like the reduced variable, it's very, not too little, it's too little, the lower than the developed model but reduce 72.7% variable. Here SSC was slightly lower than that the model developed using full lower than reduce 80.2% variable. So if you want to the fast system and the good system, then we can use this one. Good, eh? If you go to a chemical image using the Fisher wavelength, this is the chemical image. Okay. Here the uh, right side, left side image, you can see LSE, 1.25. Here the 1.25, this is the lower part, the high LSE content. This order is too bad. If you go to upper part, this the LSE is not too high. So who, who love to eat the high order uh, garlic clove, you can give to him, okay, this part. If he like to upper part, the low, then you can give this one. We can we can make we can make the some sorting system using this information. Easily you can see individual image. You can see okay 450 40.7 percent soluble solid content is lower part and a higher part is very low. So you can use this information to make the some sorting system. So Ellison of the garlic top showed the higher distribution of the central part, lower the periphery of the food. This is show the uniform distribution from the chemical image. Finally, we con can conclude the, can predict the SSA of flow, BIP model can reduce the variable 32 and 25 boy band and lessen the model complexity for LSN and SSC prediction respectively. Chemical image, you can see from chemical image, the pixel wide distribution of LSN and SSC in the garlic clove. From garlic clove, you can see the pixel wide distribution. Okay, this side is high chemical uh, LSN, this side is low, sugar content, you can see from chemical image. However, this is the now application. So they have some challenge of future work for hyperspectral imaging. What can we do for hyperspectral imaging? We know the most of the hyperspectral analysis, the reflectance mode use. Reflectance mode is most commonly used for image acquisition. Challenge to use this mode to achieve a result for round shape food. If the food is round, if you put the light here, it reflect the diffuse reflection. It's, it's difficult to get the good result. Also, application of hyperspectral imaging region is the UV, short wave IR, the 102, and media are very limited. On the max, maximum hyperspectral imaging used in the visible region. 400 to 1000 region, but higher region and lower region is not too many application. Another is the combination of spectral and spatial information should be conducted on using data fusion technique. Here in my study, I show you the image and spectra. From spectra, I got the information, beta coefficient, then I use the, uh, I make the chemical image. Need to combination of spectral and spatial information. More study need to spectral and spatial information. Challenge for reducing computation cost and enhancing the system performance. The main thing, and the system for hyperspectral is expensive. Also, the system for computer computation time is like high, high configure computer is needed to analyze it. So it's challenging, but, but uh, computer science is now growing and the, like, uh, Two or three years ago, the smartphone is not available. Now, people don't use the camera. They use the uh, cell phone for photo. So maybe 
near future have high speed computer and the high speed atmospheric imaging system will available for application of agriculture product easily so this is my last slide most of the success mainly in laboratory so the all translation of the laboratory result to industrial application is challenging because i told you hyperspectral imaging rebounded amount of data it is takes a lot of computation time and lot of uh, analysis so the for your for your online system to processing the agriculture product it's it is needed to speed it otherwise people will not use for industrial application but now nowadays it's a uh, hyperspectral imaging system is now changing the uh, high speed sensor is developing near future maybe it will work in industrial application very easily so in my presentation i use this reference for my talk the two paper i present from my paper and this other from i took this from reference and i want to acknowledge this this funding for my study like the hyperspectral imaging study last 9 years the canadian common interests program japanese government scholarship bk21 post doctoral research fellowship international post doctoral excellence fellowship i want to like i would like to give thanks to bangladesh agriculture university university of saskatchewan q2 university chugnam national university dejon and last dejong university of hangzo my past supervisor and the my mentor and other student colleague and relative i want to thanks to them thank you thank you for kind attention that's all my presentation thank you dr ansar i am dr suresh hello suresh kumar how are you yeah i am good so you are fine thank you thank you sir for your uh, insight and expertise an excellent presentation we'll go ahead uh, take some time for questions now sir okay some questions are there in the chat box okay first question how to do hyperspectral imaging for irrigation moisture stage in the field okay you can use the hyperspectral imaging for water stage in the plant leaf so you will take the image of leaf then you can analyze okay this is the moisture content of the leaf moisture content of the leaf related with the specta so you can make some model then you can make some chemical image okay this leaf is the uh drying condition this is the high moisture content is the low moisture content you can find out you can use hyperspectral imaging there are a lot of paper use the hyperspectral imaging for irrigation moisture stage in the field <laughs> like uh, there um, uh, yes in field it is very difficult to use the hyperspectral imaging to get the actual moisture stage in the field so first you can make some greenhouse system like here for you know hyperspectral imaging very expensive so people use usually the control environment so you have a greenhouse so you have a camera and lighting system so they will move plant is the steady camera will move that time second question should K Uma Devi, should the food processor use its own stand staff and facility to conduct testing, assessment, quality compliance with safety norm? This is this is you um, this is on kind of like the government policy things. Okay, uh, in in my country, if you want to export agriculture product, you need to go the Department of Agriculture here. 
you need to take the certificate from there then you can export so so it's government decision government policy if they want okay i will make the testing center agriculture product testing center here if you want to export agriculture product you will bring the sample here then test you you, you can get the test result then you can go to for the government authority can certify this product and you can export this is the one method this is the government policy and mainly government need to take the decision okay i will put the authority for the testing now in bangladesh if you want to export any agriculture product to other country or input the agriculture product to our country you need to get the test certificate from the department of agriculture the government under the ministry of agriculture so they can provide the certified copy for the product quality doctor and shonanda okay it depends on the uh, depends on the country to country so if like bangladesh if you want to uh, a government a uh, government want to buy the paddy from farmer so farm uh, government strictly follow the 14% moisture content 14% percent moisture content so different country have a different requirement okay i want to uh, export the banana to japan so they have a one quality control system okay you need to chemical residue certificate also and the other certificate also so it depends on which company and who which country you want to export but hyperspectral imaging still the in laboratory condition laboratory condition because of i told in the uh, my presentation because of need high time to data analysis so near future maybe it can be used for the uh, production line to check the for export quality and other things okay i will share the presentation note and other things yes other non registered method for food quality assessment we can use x ray method x ray if you want to measure okay this x ray x ray technique we can use also we can use the uh, sound system so what you did while you go to market to buy one cotton melon you took other melon and you push here and you hear the sound so sound system we can use also for maturity maturity to check the maturity of the fruits there are many methods but the for chemical analysis you need to go the spectral analysis or you need to go to oh, hyperspectral imaging spectroscopy or hyperspectral imaging spectroscopy give the only one point information hyperspectral imaging give the whole information so depends on your requirement Mr Samuel Basir I will, I will give the presentation I will try to give the presentation to here Okay lighting system for optical resurface tomato have some reason why i use this lighting system i told the tomato lighting system tomato surface is very shiny so yes reflection is too high so it give the wrong information to spectra reflection so we use the in light indirect lighting system yes you can use the led but led wavelength is the too narrow too narrow wavelength oil blank like the cover lens cover lens oil blank is the too narrow so we use the halogen lens the wide length of oil blank is covered that's the question in the chat box
any other question please participants if you have any other questions please uh, post your questions in the chat box or you may unmute yourself and ask your questions Sir, can you guide our students uh, how to apply for apply for um, higher uh, agricultural universities in uh, other countries? Okay, first you need to patient. Okay, I want to do some higher studies in outside. Uh, I want to do research in outside. Then you need to decide. Okay, I want to work in this field. now world is going very fast in our country like india bangladesh our agriculture i am from agriculture engineering field our agriculture still not uh, mechanized so we think okay we will use the machine and other things but other country like higher the developing developed country like us canada japan china and other country they 100% mechanized so they go to the precision agriculture they go to precision things like the food quality okay if you measure the food quality so its price is little bit high quality food so uh, our consumer willing to pay the high price i think no because we have a lot of tomato so if you want to the high quality people still in our country people don't think about the quality food they want to the food security only so in the other countries the food quality is very important if you want to work the south korea china or japan Uh, they they have a lot of scope lot of scope you can work like a, uh, uh, you need to you need to click the right person right time because this is very much dependent for, uh, on the professor project and professor interest so you need to right time right click right person this is the most important after you got the some position then you can farish and you can find out other position very easily i i have a lot of indian friends like uh, my pbs lab in south korea or now in belgium another one uh, another is one netherland they are working they did very good work in south korea so you need to patient okay i want to do higher studies and you need to email to professor okay you want to do higher study under his supervision so continuously you need to send email messages this is the depends on your luck the right person right time right click then you will get the opportunity very easily this is the my system thank you sir we have one question in the chat box sir yes i got one question the coconut want to condition for see the condition of this pulp so if you want to know coconut so you cannot the use the reflection mode you need to go the transmission mode so for transmission mode for coconut the hard surface you need to high power lighting system so if you use the hyper lighting system this is also the main problem is the hyper lighting system makes the high heat and easily it can to burn so if need to think the down the study sensing you cannot use the uh, some fruits you cannot use you need to think about okay this is not this system we can use the sound system we can use the x ray system for coconut if someone 
to send messages to me you can send messages this is a chat box my address my email and my whatsapp number easily you can contact if you have some question and some information Thank you, sir, for sharing your contact with us. Thank you, thank you for everyone. Any questions from the participants, respected faculty? Any questions? I'm sorry, this presentation very much uh, technical, calm, technical talk. So now it's working the hyperspectral imaging. So people need to know hyperspectral imaging. What is this? So I go to the some technical issue also here, fundamental of hyperspectral imaging. There are no questions. Uh, okay. uh, can we close the session, sir? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for participating here and listen my bad voice and bad presentation. I'm not good presenter. In I'm not good presenter. So thank you for listening to me. Yes, I'm sir. happy if it is worked for you in future. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Actually, um, uh, give me the opportunity to thank you. Uh, at the outset, uh, I thank, uh, I extend heartfelt thanks to our honorable Vice Chancellor and IDP leader, C.A. Vishnumadgan Redigaru, and uh, Dean of Agriculture and Principal Investigator of IDP, Dr. A. Pratap Kumar Redigaru, for their endless support and guidance in all the IDP activities. On behalf of Andrew and IDP team, I extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Ranisur Rehma for your stimulating and insightful presentations. Uh, please accept my sincere appreciation for the outstanding presentation. I also thank all the uh, faculty and the uh, scientists, dignitaries from other universities and also students uh, for their patient hearing and active participation. Thanks to IDP team at university and college level for their continuous support and expect the same support in uh, our future activities also. Thank you for your time and uh, have a wonderful time rest of your day, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir.